This is Dr. Archana Singh, Assistant Professor at Symbiosis Institute of Management Studies. And in this MOOC video, we are going to discuss concepts of marginal costing part 2. So what was there in our previous video, in a, in a previous video of part 1, we discussed what is contribution, what is PV ratio and what is break even point. Some more concepts to be focused on for marginal costing so that you can apply this technique practically and utilize it. Let's study few more concepts on marginal cost. One of the important concept of marginal costing to be discussed is margin of safety. And to make you understand what do we mean by margin of safety, I'll give you an example with which you can connect. For your examination, if you have appeared for a 100 marks paper and the passing marks is 40, and you ended up scoring a 50, what was the margin of safety for you? The margin of safety for you was 10 marks because 40 was mandatory to pass the examination out of 100. The same fundamental is applicable when you calculate the margin of safety for an organization. Let me give you an example. If the break even was uh, 1000 and the if the break even was 1000 and the actual sales let us assume it is 2000 then your margin of safety is 1000 rupees. So what would be the equation of calculating the margin of safety? The margin of safety is equal to actual sales minus BEP sales and we already learned how to calculate the BEP sales. What was the formula of BEP sales? BEP sales was to be calculated simply by putting FC upon PV ratio or FC upon contribution in rupees. Okay friends, what if I ask you to calculate sales at desired profit? What am I actually asking you to calculate? Uh, let me give you an example. If I say, what would be the amount of sales to earn a profit of 1 lakh rupees? Or let me put it in a different way. What would be the amount of sales to earn a profit of 5 lakh rupees? What will be the amount of sales to earn a profit of 10 lakh rupees? Sounds challenging, right? But if you know the technique of marginal costing, it is very, very simple to calculate. What was the formula to calculate the break-even point? The base was fixed cost and the formula was break-even point is equal to fixed cost upon contribution or fixed cost upon PV ratio. Now, what is the difference between break-even point sales and actual sales? The break-even point sales is a point which is reflecting no loss, no profit. On the contrary, when you talk about actual sales, there is some amount of profit you are talking about. So, the formula remains the same. The only addition to the formula for calculating sales at a desired profit would be, it will be the sale, expected sales is equal to FC plus profit upon contribution or FC plus profit upon PV ratio. What did we do? We used the formula of break-even point as base to calculate the sales to attain the desired amount of profit. So we'll simply put the profit amount, the fixed cost, you have your PV ratio or you will have your contribution and you can calculate any amount of sales for any desired profit. The way we calculated sales at desired profit Sometimes the organization even wishes to know the profit at different sales volume. So how do we calculate the profit at different sales volume? Let me give you a simple and a very simple example to illustrate the same. If your PV ratio is 40% and your sales is 100, what's your contribution? Your contribution is 40. And if I ask you, what if your sales is 200, what will be the amount of profit? you know your PV ratio, your PV ratio was 40%, right? So straight away it gets doubled and the answer would be 80. So simple thing to calculate profit at different sales volume, the formula would be sales into PV ratio. But wait a minute, when I do sales into PV ratio, which profit do I derive? I derive contribution which is also known as gross profit. What if I want to know the net profit amount? What do we need to do? To arrive at the net profit, you just need to do sales into PV ratio minus fixed cost and you will get the answer of net profit. So now is the time to check whether you can apply the concepts practically or not, okay? Let's try solving this. A question is given to you where you need to do a simple thing. Just segregate the fixed cost and variable cost based on the behavior of both the cost. How 
what is a marginal cost statement looks like it's very simple you need to start with the sales minus variable cost now when you say variable cost variable cost might include opening inventory at marginal cost it might include your all your direct expenses direct labor direct material the closing inventory at marginal cost the moment you deduct all this from sales you arrive at contribution right so contribution further you just need to deduct fixed cost and you arrive at the net profit so how does the marginal cost statement looks like it start with the sales minus variable cost gives you contribution minus fc gives you net profit i'm 100% sure now all of you are clear with the concepts of marginal costing you know how does a marginal cost statement looks like you know to segregate the fixed and variable cost here is a question for you to solve and you have to prepare a marginal cost statement thanks for taking so much of effort and trying to solve this question Here is the solution of the question for you just to cross check where did you go wrong Thank you so much friends I'm sure now you are you will be in a position to make a marginal cost statement okay and if you want to do any field work please go to your favorite shop find out their fixed and variable cost segregate it try to calculate their break even point try to calculate the profit volume ratio for that particular firm if you don't even wish to go to a firm there might be some some small stall you know you must be visiting on a daily basis you can just calculate the bp point for that person you can calculate the monthly profit for that individual right and you can understand and practically apply the concepts of marginal costing and it will also be helpful for you whenever you give a proposal for a startup or as an entrepreneur you should have been uh, you should be giving a glimpse and summary of how your calculations would look like and the best way to put the calculations would be to give the figure of your break even point to give the classification of your cost and to give the profit volume ratio profit volume ratio calculations along with the expected sales and expected profit thank you so much